Hey guys, what's up? Um, we are gonna do an on one uh, photo raw 22 demonstration. I'm gonna keep this real quick. I actually just recorded this and uh, <laughs> forgot to screen record my MacBook. So uh, had to scrap that and do another one, but I kept that video a little bit long. So we're gonna keep this short, concise, and uh, I'm gonna show you why I like on one. So let's jump in. Okay, so the, the biggest thing for me about On1 uh, Photo Raw is On1 makes something called No Noise AI. And No Noise AI is going to be their competitor to DxO uh, Deep Prime uh, is the engine, Pure Raw is the name of the program, or Topaz Denoise. I own all of these programs. I started with Topaz and I moved to DxO because everybody said how good it is. Um, they're both good, but Workflow wise, I was getting peeved. I don't like having to run plugins and I don't like paying Adobe a subscription every month. So I was looking for new options. I tried Luminar, I tried Capture One, um, tried lots of stuff, wasn't happy with, with how most of it works. So ultimately, um, I tried DxO Photo Lab because they have their no noise, they have their noise reduction built in. But the trouble with DxO's built in version is it doesn't work until you export. So you run it, but you don't really know how it's impacting the file until you've exported the, the file. And I thought that was useless. So on one last year incorporated no noise right into the program. This is amazing. If you shoot wildlife, I truly don't believe there's a better option. Um, and I'll give you like a quick walkthrough here. So you've got our your browse menu. It has a fantastic, um, uh, catalog system and what I really like about this compared to Lightroom is you don't have to import your photos so what's fantastic is all of these subfolders that I've made I made inside on one um, going through pictures so I would go through and I'd say here's all my pictures of Hawks I made a subfolder and when I put those into the Hawk subfolder inside on one uh, all the files move automatically um, on my drive. So you don't have any of these lost file problems or you're going back and forth trying to figure out exactly what, um, what where your files are. So I think that's great. You can catalog the folders and make it quick to go through them. Um, you know, it's very quick to call, same as Lightroom. You know, you just hit X and reject things and select your rejects and delete them all. Um, you can customize how this shows up, but I like how it is right now. So another good thing about this is um, it's got a lot of Photoshop style tools built right in. So things like sky replacements, if you're into the, the big factor is right here, no noise AI. So the way this works, here's my picture. This is shot at uh, 1 500th and ISO 4000. This is not cropped. This is at my pond. Um, this is the middle of the day, but the bird was in shade, so that's why it was pushing me to 4,000. Uh, the new 150 to 600 is a slow lens. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's slow, but it's fine as you'll see. So no noise AI, you click one button and done. And all the noise is gone. And it's adding some sharpening because it's removing things from the bird. Now for me, that's maybe a little over sharpened It's a, little, it's a little intense. So this detail here, you're gonna pull enhanced detail down a little bit. So you can see, I mean, you, there it is on 10, don't do that. There it is without any at all. And I usually like 20 to 30%. Gives you a bit of sharp, but nothing crazy. So when you're done, you hit apply and it's all set. Now, if at any point during the process, you're not happy, you just go back and click adjust. Brings you right back. Classic is their their old version of noise reduction, which I would say it's kind of like using built-in Lightroom noise reduction rather than exporting to Topaz. But if you're here and you're a wildlife shooter, uh, we all know we don't use in, in Lightroom uh, noise reduction, so that's great. Um, you know, if you're gonna export to a plugin, why not just do it all in one like this? For me, this is interesting too, because this is a JPEG. So um, On One does a really good job with JPEGs. And it's funny, I like looking at this picture, this is just the standard, uh, the, 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 like the standard default film sim. Uh, Fuji JPEGs look great. Um, I don't really see a need to do anything with this. I think, uh, yeah, I was just seeing like what shadow details there on his chest. I mean, but even on a raw, that's not gonna, I mean, I could I could paint in and bring this up, but I, I don't really feel the need to. Um, 
but I'm really impressed. These Fuji JPEGs, like the color science is just really nice. Um, I don't even know that it, maybe a little more contrast wouldn't hurt. Drop the highlights a little, maybe raise the shadows a little. Uh, the other thing on one does is all of your effects are in this effects tab. So things like creative effects, like vintage and film sims and things like that. Um, you know, skin retouching, sun flare, these are all cool. There's a split tone option. Um, I don't know that that's going to do anything for me here, especially with all these greens. No, but it's pretty cool that it'll it'll automatically split tone for you and give you those options. And you can tweak all that stuff for sure. Um, but I, I think that's what's really interesting compared to a lot of different programs is just the way they have it set up. It's easy to navigate, I think, once you get a feel for it. But what I'm looking for here is a vignette. So Big Softy is my favorite. And we will bring the size back a little. See what it looks like without. Bring it back a little too. <coughs> mm. There we go. Just a little bit in the corners. I don't want a lot. Yeah, that's good. And uh, that's good. You can also resize. Uh, that's amazing. You can, it's uh, it's like gigapixel. You can send things out. Um, but uh, I don't need to do that here. I mean, I haven't cropped that at all. So I'll do a test on that in the future. But I mean, I am quite happy with the detail in this bird. Where the camera focus, I mean, the camera hit here. I might have missed his eye by a bit, um, but it's tough with eyes, right? I mean, the eyes reflect, so reflective surfaces are hard to get sharp anyway. And like, I mean, you can you can see there's there's me in my little blind. You can see me reflecting in his eye. I mean, at f8 at this distance, I mean this this would be sharp if it was going to be sharp. So I think the fact that we lost a little bit of the eye is is really just due to the heat haze off the pond and and the reflectiveness. But all in all, I mean, the detail's great and the noise is completely gone. So you got a lot of options with this stuff, but yeah, on one photo raw, fantastic. There's a free trial. I, I don't have a code, I'm not an ambassador, but I think um, you can't go wrong. And you buy it once and you own it. So, I mean, they do upgrade it every year and you can, you can uh, buy a new upgrade if you need it. But I mean, all the features it has right now, they'd have to add something pretty killer to to be worth, you know, upgrading in the near future. So I think if you're tired of paying Adobe 20 bucks a month or whatever, um, Canadian anyway, um, on one's going to save you a bunch of money. I'll save you a lot of time and I just think it's a better system overall. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed.